What happened? Oh my God, you go. Hey, you want to go to school? Yeah. Hey, these people should approve this thing for us so that you start school. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Yeah. Stop crying, okay? Okay? And stop crying. You want to go to school? Yeah. Oh, I want to go to school. My daughter wants to go to school and these people refuse to approve her. Hmm? America approved my baby, Bikon. Approve her to start school. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get it up. Hello beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is your girl, Ngozi. Welcome to Zeki's World. How are you doing? I hope you guys are having a very beautiful day. It's, a, it's windy this morning and it's cold also. So I went to drop my son at school. Then from there we came to the library. Um, we usually borrow book from the library. And uh, you know, my son used that to do his homework because every night we have to read for 20 minutes and do a bedtime story before uh, the kids sleep and uh, we usually come here to borrow books the reason why I come to the library is because they have different age you know fictions non-fictions like you know imaginations a lot of books that you can like you cannot keep buying book all the time but I love it you can rent it then at the end of the day you bring it back and take another one so I was so happy about that so I had to borrow a lot of books for my son and my two girls so yeah we borrow books all the time from them but I came here today to return the one that I borrowed <laughs> but unfortunately they have not opened so what we're going to do is um, um, we're going to go to the front there's a place an opening where you can just put in the book that you borrow but the sad thing is that I want to borrow another book because we have to use it for our homework so let's see let's go there together and check if uh, there's an opening then I will drop it first because they have sent me a notice that the book is overdue for two times the third one they are going to charge me I don't want them to charge me so I'm going to go to their office to see if there is a place you know I can slot in the book then maybe later in the day I can come back into library have you borrowed book from the library if not let me know in the comment section if you have what is your experience do you like borrowing book from library what do you think about borrowing book from library because I've been to a friend's house she was telling me oh she don't want to borrow you will not buy everything from the store so that is why we came we came here today you know to borrow a lot of books we return we borrow we return and we also add it to the ones that we have at home and we I'll get it okay what's that <laughs> and the miracle is over there she just woke up uh, she was sleeping because she didn't sleep well last night so I have to you know, take her from her bed to put her inside the car seat then and now she's awake back and one more thing they rent they rent toys like you, if you want you can borrow toys different types of toys how long are we going to keep buying toys for kids like my children, if you buy this particular toy, they will go and see another particular toy. They will say, I don't like this one anymore. I want this one. I want this one. How long are you going to keep buying toys? So they can also different, beautiful ones, expensive ones in the library. That is one good thing I love about Budoyi book. Like life is made easier. At least it's made easier. Look at me now. We came to rent book or borrow book. Renting. Is it renting? It's borrowing because I'm not paying. <laughs> Just with your card. You create an account, they will give you an ID card. Immediately you come in, in that ID card, it has a number. So that number is for you. Whenever you come in, use that number to log in the, in the computer and do what you want to do. And all that. They have audio book, they have a lot of things, and I really, really enjoy that. So if you don't want, if you don't have to buy it all, you don't have to. If you don't want to buy, you don't have to. You just go to the library and borrow different kinds of toys. Because so much, and now you took a toy, you took it. You keep buying, buying, buying. I'm really tired of buying toys. And they are still going. Oh, again. <laughs> I'm going to show you something now. They have a. Um, 
they have a, did you see that car over there? I don't know whether you can see it. Did you see the car over there? Did you see the car over there? It's called the mobile library. You see, it's called mobile library, which is a book mobile. In that car, if you open it, it's just like a library. Like they drive it around the city, the street. If you want to borrow a book, they'll come to your street and park. You go to them and give them your card. They will check you in. You go inside the car and take as much as book you want. But uh, I think uh, they are about going out uh, this morning because it's morning over here, so I'm still waiting. So guys, let me show you the books of uh, the book that we borrowed. Let me show you all the books that we borrowed before I take it inside the library. So this one is what is sound. My son loved this one. You keep telling me the sounds, you know, from radio waves and the air and all that. So this one is Lama Lama 99. We read this for bedtime. I love varieties. Like my son will be like, let's get different types. The reason why is because if you go to the store and needs and this is an easy reader, beginner. My daughter can as well read this because it's just easy reader. So if you have a three-year-old get this type of book for them it's easy for them to read as you can see yeah so this one is for Chimoma and also this one it says what does mom do all day you know as you can see uh, yeah you see it says uh, it says beginner books so for it, this I think this one is for three to four years or two between two and a half to three years. My my daughter is three. She read this one too. So this one is my son's favorite. Weasels. Like I don't even know much about this book, my, but my son loved this. It's all about this particular animal. Have you have you seen this animal before? It is called weasels. See how they look like. I don't know, but my son read this one. This one is really really uh, interesting. So interesting book for four five years yeah i'm not gonna buy this one we rented it or we borrowed it we are finished reading we are bringing it back so that we can do what borrow another one so this one you go away this one is also easy reader you know or beginner why, friendly why, why? you see you go away so a three years old can read this and you come back it's easy it helps them to you know a uh, sight word as well so this one is the little gardener i got this one here uh, for my son so yeah i'm just showing you guys some of the books all the books that we got today we got like uh, eight this one is all the places you will go by dr seuss dr seuss have a lot of interesting books and also this one is old daddy <laughs> my son's favorite as well in all the books that we got this week so my son enjoyed this one so guys just to show you have one how many do we even have one two three four five six seven eight am i sure it's eight i thought it's ten okay let's go in they will now tell us whether it's eight or ten but i'm sure i'm sure can you hear the train? See how everywhere is quiet. Yeah, everybody has gone for their, their daily activity. I know you can see me with my tripod. So yeah, this is the the city library. So everywhere is so so dry. The matter that I love. library let me show you the picture of what they want to do picture of what they want to do the old picture and the new picture so they want to renovate the library but i've not seen anything they are doing so we are just here you see the time is at 10 and uh, today is what today is tuesday they open by 10 a.m So guys, I see another library return, which means I'm going to put this book here. You see? 
It's opening. <laughs> I was just there wasting my useful time. Hey, I'm just going to put it in here. I want to borrow more for my son. So I'm putting the book there. One. <laughs> hey, be counting for me. the last one this is the last one eight so all the eight books that I came here to return I successfully did that guys you saw me doing it so guys I return all the books let me show you the big box you see library return so I return all the books in there and the uh, which I did right now so you saw me as I returned the book so I'm sure that I did I put it in the right place, I'm sure. Yeah, this is the library, but what will happen is that we will, uh, we will go home. I will come back later, maybe after picking up my son. Or before I pick him up, I will come here and uh, take some books. But I love coming with him because he makes selections for himself. So, let's go home right now because I have a lot of things to do. So guys, let's go to the car and I'll fix everyone. And then, yeah, we'll drive home. Okay guys, let me fix everyone then. I will see you when we get I've put in everyone in their car seats. Miracle is drinking water. And uh, Chimama is just there with her lunch bag. I don't even know where she's going with lunch bag. Like I said, she wants to start school. But official age of starting school in the United States is 5 years. So every other person... Is it 5 years? Not even... 5 years is a transitional kindergarten. But all these things depends on the baby's age. She wants to go to school. I bought a lunch bag for David and she requires for lunch bag. I bought for her as well. So and she's going about anytime we want to go and drop David, she goes with her own lunch bag. There's lunch in there. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Let's drive home. Why are you crying? I want to go to school. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Why are you crying? I want to go to school. You want to go to school. You want to go to school. I want to go to school. So, can you bring What is that? What are you holding? The purple one. What is it? Is that your lunch bag? Your lunch bag. Hey. I better go now and figure that my daughter is ready for school and you guys are not ready for her. Is it fair? Is it fair? <laughs> I think we have to go to, to this school in our house. What do you think? You want us to go to the school in our house? Okay, so we have to go to this school in our house. Just right now. So let's start going home, okay? I will see you when we get home. So guys, um, I changed my mind <laughs> on my way going home. So on my way going home from the library, so I um, decided to go and check. Uh, there's a program called Early Head Start Program. So let me just go and check. I know that. I don't know what they will say, but you know, there's no harm in trying. Let me just go there and check and ask them if I can register my daughter or if there is anything program available for her age because she really wants to go to school. Hey, boy, that is cool. Oh, my God, where's this water? That's no the school. No one named this water. Where's this water at, Samuel? She's going to pay back. I think this is the office. Let's go in through the office, because that's the class. Let's go in through the office. They had a pay. Do you like it? Oh, yeah. You like it here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm caretaker of my mother, and I need to verify. Hi, how can I help you? Yeah, I came to find out about the early head start program. Crystal, how old your child? Three. Three. Oh, I'm sorry, David. I'm sorry. You said early head start. What's your child? Three year old. Okay. Okay. What's happened? Oh my god, 
Hey, you want to no. go to school? Yeah. Oh, these people should approve this thing for us so that you start school. Stop crying, okay? Okay? And stop crying. You want to go to school? Yeah. Oh, I'm talking about to school. My daughter wants to go to school. And these people refuse to approve her. Hmm? America approved my baby, Bitcoin. Approve her to start school. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carry up. Oh my god! Okay. What happened? You want to go to school? But they say that you are not feeling ready for school. Because you are three. They say that you have to be four before you start school. Hmm. America, please change this rule. My baby wants to go to school. Be con change this rule. Right? Look here. Right? Let me fix them in the car. I will tell you guys the food is when we get to market. Guys, we are back. We are back from the uh, Head Start office. Head Start is where I went to check if I can enroll my daughter in a like a nursery school, which is a, over here. It's just like um, Head Start. They call it Head Start. So, guys, like I told you before, I went there. I told you, let me check. Let me go and see what they will say. You know, they have a lot of. Uh, requirements like if you didn't meet up with that they're not going to take your child so we went in there so we asked for the, the manager so the manager came out he said um he asked me a lot of questions with my children so i explained to him about my daughter you know age and all that so she he said that he gave me about look over there this thing that you're seeing now is the requirement they said uh, income tax for 2018 they need income tax of my husband they need a last paid store from last month and also my kids a birth certificate now let me tell you these people once you start making like there's a certain amount of money that you'll be making they will not approve you for all those benefits now for you to enroll your child if that child is below uh, uh, six years you have to um, provide some of these things so which means she's not going to start school I'm not really sure that they are going to approve this but I'm still gonna try I'm going to try because what they require is um, the husband pays stuff they want to see how much he is making since I'm not working now so they want to see how much he is making from there they will evaluate and see if the child is qualified to get this um, Early Head Start program. This is uh, apple juice, and uh, these are these are sorry, these are cookies that she will pack for herself because she wants to go to school. She will bring her own lunch bag and pack uh, something neat, and I will drive David to school. Immediately, David steps down from the car, she will start crying. Or sometimes we we'll walk, we'll walk to the school and we'll start crying. So I said to them, let me go and check and try if there's, there's you know, anything that they can do to enroll her. Because I see a lot of kids that are below uh, 3, 2, you know, that goes to school. But uh, I think those people, they do that to people that are working full time. So you can drop your child and then you go when you come back. You to your child. But if you are not working, <laughs> you are on your own, OYO. So guys, this is it. We went there, so I will still go back. Your uh, your your lunch bag, probably. So she now come to take her lunch bag. So by tomorrow or next, my husband comes back. 
he gave you the best of them. We'll go and see what happened. What are the children So, yeah, that is basically. Cranky. Yeah, you're picky. That is how we went this morning. So, thank you guys so much. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Ngozi. Welcome to Ziggy's World. And uh, also, thank you. Let me know. Did you try your lunch bag? Okay. Let me know in the comment section how old were your daughter and your son when they first start school? Where do they do they have to wait for five years or six years before they start school? Just let me know in the comment section what you think about that. Let me know in the comment section. So guys, yes, I'm so glad to be with you. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing. My new subscribers, my new subscribers, I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much and be a part of a fun, beautiful week. And I pray your week is and fruitful. Bye!